from a, from a household? Land, labor, capital, entrepreneurs, perhaps. Particularly the land and the labor, right? So let's keep this river consistent. This is not the money river. Well, maybe the next time I draw this, I can make one green for money. And it becomes even clearer. And then we have this river outside. All right. And so what happens is you have households selling resources, okay? And they, it could be labor, it could be land. A lot of times there are great examples, not so many around today, but not too far in the, in the past where you can ask a parent, an uncle, a grandparent about, do you, can you remember a time when somebody had some land and they sold out, they sold to some larger company? And they can probably say, yeah, I remember when I used to drive to school, I went to Bishop Mott High School, there was a guy with a farm and people were building up all around him and he just would not sell out. And I know he had offers. He must have had offers for that land from developers. And he probably, for as long as I was driving by there, I'd say at least 15 years, it was a farm. He was holding out. And then one day, finally, he sold that resource, he sold that land to some company that wanted to develop it for some other purpose to make money. Okay? So, it's not just labor, but it's also land. We'll put it on this arrow as well. And so, what do firms pay people, households, for this kind of stuff? Money, Mr. Gideon, well sure, but let's be a little bit more specific. In the form of salaries, benefits, if they're not on salary, then wages. But once a company gives up that compensation and somebody takes it into their hands, we label that as income. All right, do governments go into the resources factors market and buy stuff? Do they hire people? Do they acquire land? Yes, they do. So we need some arrows there. And money going out of the government, once again, is called expenditures. be in exchange for resources. Now, what about government interacting with households and firms? Does money also flow? You're like, come on, stop. Stop adding arrows. Sorry, people, this is the class. So, government, does government take money from households? Does it flow from households? That, all right, fine. So, money, but taxes, beautiful. Let's be even more specific. Income taxes, right, from households. If you're a company, you don't pay, especially a corporation, you don't pay income taxes as a company, but you have corporate income taxes. Uh, what about money going from government to households? Does the government give households, consumers money? Not benefits, not unless they're an employee, in which case it would be over here, the left side, right? They hire employees, they give them services. What about uh, welfare, social security, these kinds of things, right? So we're gonna cram those in. Transfer payments are what they're called a lot of times. I'm gonna abbreviate social security Welfare. Those are things that they would, are examples of money sent to households. Now, what about money sent to companies? Sure, they have taxes, but they also subsidize some companies, not all companies, right? Certain industries, we talked about corn, or let's say that the government wants to promote economic development in some place that is you know, urban and poor, they might provide incentives, tax breaks even, to companies to have business there so that it revitalizes the area. I'll tell you right now, this hasn't really been a government thing, 
as it has been a private, excuse me, a private investment thing. But downtown LA looks a lot different now than it did 15 years ago. There's been a lot of development down there. And if there hadn't been the Staples Center, and you know, I think they've completed an update to the uh, yeah, they have LA Live. But I'm thinking about what was there before that. Um, the convention center, those kinds of things. And some of the, and Walt Disney, the Walt Disney Center wasn't there. There's a lot of stuff that's there now that wasn't before. We would not be in the position that we are now talking about building a brand new football stadium. I just, I just said what you said. Football it's stadium, all right. Yeah. right? There wasn't all that stuff before. We wouldn't be talking seriously at this point. I still don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Every time people go, oh, it's happening now. We're gonna get a football team. But I think this is the best chance we've ever had to get a football team in Los Angeles, maybe two. Because supposedly, the people uh, that are proposing this, the people that developed the Staples Center, uh, AEG, are saying that it could house two football teams. And there are some teams that are looking for a home, I think. You know, like the Vikings, the Chargers, Jaguar, the Jaguars maybe. So, anyway. But government can try to spur that along. They've been talking, AEG has been talking with LA City Council about working something out that either allows them the permission or perhaps uses tax dollars and uh, subsidizes some part of this development. All right, so subsidies, grants are also given. I think that's good enough for now. So that's the circular flow. We need to know to drop all that in labor for a test. Yep. <laughs> you gotta memorize it. Should we do a practice? You gotta draw. As a matter of fact, that's probably the most uh, probable small freak that you're gonna see in the test. Like, draw a circular flow of four sectors. That's a free ride? Hmm? Probably a free ride. It could be. Most likely be the free. Wait, so those are the only four steps. So then we have to know to draw. First two and then pass it down. So 
everybody should have one sheet that says name, right? Take a look real quick just to make sure. Then you have the second page with the uh, employment calculations. Everybody should have those two. There's ten questions, two points each. Two decimal places, please. 